the Raw Live Continental Debate 2012! In one corner, weighing in at just under three and a half European pounds, the screamer of simplicity, the man who attended his own funeral, the darkest man in this room right now, Demarcus Jones! And in this corner, weighing in at negative 12 yen, the eater of sandwiches, the denier of bitches, the baller on a budget, Ryan Pender! Let the games begin! We will now open the floor up to any of your questions. Hi, Mr. Penberg. I've heard a number of things about the other candidates having several binders full of women. My question is, can I too have such a binder, or would this count somehow as slavery or prostitution? Well, first of all, I would just like to thank all of you for coming out here this evening. I would like to thank my opponent, Mr. Jones, for taking time out of his busy schedule of shooting RPGs at walls and speaking at funerals. I would like to thank this guy for hosting this event, even though I'm pretty sure he's going to royally fuck it up like they always do. In addition, I would like to thank my father, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, cousin, grandparents, my pet potato, Jeff the pizza guy, and of course, the little engine that could. Because without him, there would be no locomotives capable of crossing the Pacific Ocean. But you never answered my question. Yes, I did. You just weren't listening. What? Next question. Uh, this question is for both of you. <clears throat> as president, will you be able to answer any of the questions surrounding our generation, such as how I actually met your mother, or why are you so serious? As president, I promise not only to answer questions like just how I did meet your mother, or why you are so serious, but also whether or not you actually are mad bro, or why there are more likes than views on some of Shane Dawson's videos. Huh? Oh, wait, what? it's my turn? I'm sorry, Mr. Penberg, but your time is up. NEXT! With the new advancements in technology, do you think it would ever be possible to change the color of... the sky? The sky? Yeah, I'm colorblind, so personally I can't see the sky at all. Oh, well, uh... I bet it looks nice. Full of giant piles of cotton candy and meatballs falling from them. Just like that book I read. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? No, the Fifty Shades of Grey. Excuse me, I don't have time for this. I'm sorry, what is your question? Thank you. I have a question about equal rights. Rights? Yes. For years, radio-controlled automobiles, such as myself, have been discriminated against, just because of the C4 on my back, and the tread on my tires. I have a dream that one day we will- Wait a minute. So you're saying that you currently don't have any rights? This is correct. Oh, well, I'm obviously not going to win now. Why? Because you're stupid? Unapologetic? Or because you just murdered a dozen people by throwing a tomahawk into a live pack of C4? Probably the last one. Yeah. Oh, hell, President Demarcus! <laughs> <laughs> 